So y'all come join us today and I'll bring you along and show you what we end up doing. Um, so let's get this day going. Great. I love my digital Kroger coupons. I love my digital Walgreens coupons. It's literally free money. Like why would you not want to do it? Hello everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're choosing to watch this. Welcome to another daily vlog. If you're new, I do vlog every single day over here on my YouTube channel. I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and follow along. Hey, hey to my morning crew. Thank you guys so much for being such faithful friends and always hanging out with me in the morning. But if you're watching us another time, welcome as well. So I feel a lot better than I did the last few days because everyone in my house slept really good last night. I didn't hear one peep out of anyone. So that was wonderful. I cannot believe we are gearing up to the end of summer. I feel like I was just coming on here talking about all of our summer plans and stuff. And now it's like almost over. It's crazy. I'm out here because inside the kids are playing and running around. So I thought it'd be better just to come out here, let Layla go run around for a minute and say hi to you guys. Um, it is about 11 o'clock. I'm starting lunch for the kids um, and doing some laundry. I cut up strawberries. Uh, the strawberries I got from Walmart yesterday are not the best. They did refund me my money, but I went through and like removed all the moldy ones. There was a bunch that were like really mushy too, but I was able to get some that I was able to cut up and salvage also, I was going to cut the watermelon we got from Walmart, and we've been getting really great ones from there, but cut into it, it was totally molded. So I don't know what's going on. Um, that's a bummer. So I just tossed the whole thing in the trash. Um, I'll have to, we actually ordered a watermelon from a fundraiser at church. So we'll get that on Sunday. So I'll probably just wait and we'll have that one. It's from a watermelon farm or something. I don't know. It's supposed to be really good. So we'll see how that turns out. But anyway, I hope you guys come hang out with us today. We're just spending the morning at home. I needed to get some laundry finished and just some things around here done. Uh, the kids are playing. And then this afternoon, we're going to be going up to the church. We have staff pictures today. So I need to get like fully ready for that. Um, I already picked out our outfit, so I just need to like curl my hair, do the makeup, the whole nine yards for that. And then we're also putting together handouts. We're going to be going through our neighborhood, the neighborhood that's closest to the church, um, all around and passing out flyers because we're having a summer block party slash snow cone event on Saturday. So we have to make up flyers and we're attaching them to popsicles, um, like the freezer pop kind, not frozen, so they can freeze them themselves. We just thought it'd be something that would attach, we could attach the flyer to pretty inexpensively, but it would still be kind of a cool summer vibe. So we're assembling all of those tonight as well. So when we go up to the church to do the staff pictures, also we have our team coming and we're going to have people cutting the flyers. We're going to have people attaching them to the um, popsicles and we've got to do like 300 flyers worth. So David went today and bought like 1500 popsicles. We're going to do like four or five per flyer and it's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of work to do. Um, but I think we have some people coming to help us. Otherwise me and David would be up there all night doing that. Uh, so it's great to have help and a team. So that's kind of the plan for the day. I've already decided that for dinner, we're going to have tortellini. No, not tortellini. That would have been good. Ravioli in the crock pot. I bought some beef ravioli from Walmart. I'm just going to mix some sauce, put it in the crock pot, put it on low before we leave. By the time we get home, it'll be nice and hot and ready for dinner. That's kind of the plan for the day. So y'all come join us today and I'll bring you along and show you what we end up doing. Um, so let's get this day going my first lunch customer is mr nate um he is having sorry i've got like hair all over me and then i'm yes, it's crazy and <laughs> um okay so this is a microwavable pizza from walmart it was like a little over a dollar so i thought we could try them because groceries are expensive and they love this kind of thing so we'll see if he likes it I stuck it in the air fryer instead of the microwave. I just feel like that would be better. Cooked it for about 10 minutes. It looks really good. I think it looks good. So he's got that and some strawberries. 
and this is his this is his lunch. When the other kids are ready, they had kind of a later breakfast, so I'm going to wait till they tell me they're ready for lunch. I'll show you guys what's on the plan for them. So I guess that pizza was good. It got a, a thumbs up from Nate, so let's go. All right, so this is my three-year-old Mark. His plate, he is still uber picky, and um, who knows how this will go, but this is what he's having. Some Cool Ranch Doritos, some Cheez-Its, some black beans, some strawberries and blueberries, a smoothie, and some fruit snacks. So, like a snacky plate. Um, I put stuff on his plate even though, you know, he doesn't always eat it because that's just what I've been told will eventually work. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, but this is his little snack plate today. All right, so I just laid Mark down for quiet time. It's right at one o'clock. He probably won't sleep. He um, slept a little later today, but I still do quiet time from about one to two or three. If he falls asleep and he's quiet, I'll let him go till three. Um, and I let him look at his Kindle or a book or whatever he wants as long as he's quiet. And then the other kids, they don't have to stay in their room, but they usually do some sort of activity that's just ch more chill. Um, so that's what's going on right now. I placed a Walgreens order. Walgreens is having a huge like sale this week. Lots of like cash, Walgreens cash back um, deals going on. I think like every day they have a different deal. I didn't do anything yesterday. It was a lot of grocery stuff. And my app was not working right, but it seems to be fixed today. So I placed a pickup order. David was like, I need this and that. And he was telling me about toothpaste. I was like, go look in my closet. There's tons of toothpaste. And he was like, oh my gosh. And so he's like, well, you haven't done any deals in a few weeks. What's going on? And honestly, I've just been so busy. I haven't even studied the deals or anything. So I was like, you know what? You've given me the motivation to get back in there. <laughs> and this is a good week to do it. So I think out of pocket, I paid $27. I'll show you the deal. David's going to pick it up for me on his way home today. Um, but I got $33 cash in Walgreens cash back. Um, they have this promotion of like spend 35, get 15 back. And um, that doesn't include like any coupons you use. So I was able to get the total down to like 27 with all the coupon, digital coupons. And I, I get lots of questions from you guys. I am not an expert at this. I follow a bunch of different accounts and um, a Walgreens Facebook group. And there's people in there that are way better and more knowledgeable about it. Um, but Walgreens can be a little confusing. So if you want to get into it, I would suggest following a group like that. <laughs> so uh, they had some different deals. I got like body wash for David, which he's always running low on. I just bought him some at Kroger and it was like the cheapest one was like $4 or something. And I was able to get it on sale at Walgreens to kind of stock him back up for the next several, several months. Anyway, I'll show you the other stuff I got, um, but I get lots of questions about Walgreens. I do not clip paper coupons. I just never have liked that, but the digital coupons, that's a whole nother story. I love my digital Kroger coupons. I love my digital Walgreens coupons. It's literally free money. Like, why would you not want to do it? So if you just download the app, there's a whole section you can click savings and you just click them, add them to your card. And then when you check out, um, either do it from the Walgreens app and those coupons will immediately come off or you can enter your phone number at the store on their little pin pad thing and it'll come off there. I've gotten so many amazing deals. Like we have toothpaste for the next like year because and I've got it like all basically free just like pay tax here and there or like very little money. So it's exciting to like you know, feel like you're helping the money stretch more. I just looked at the uh, Kroger ads today and there's a really, there's some really good deals coming up this week. So this may be a good week for me to go in and kind of stock my freezer, um, stock up on a few things. And, you know, that's what I try to do. Like some weeks there's not that many good sales, so I don't buy anything. Um, you know, that's on sale. And then some weeks it's like, man, there's a lot of good stuff. And that's the time you need to really stock up. So just my little two cents. When David gets home, I think he's planning on getting home around four today so we can get ready for those pictures and go back up to the church. 
Um, when he gets home, I'll show you guys the $27 haul. And then um, we'll go to the church. But right now, it's quiet time. I'm just going to sit. I'm actually in the middle of washing Nate's bedding. So he has Bettys. All the kids have Bettys. And I get lots of questions about Bettys. But I have had the best luck with them. Like, I just love the way they look on their beds. They're really easy for them to make up themselves. Um, washing them, you kind of have to unzip. So Bettys are like all-in-one bedding. The sheets and the comforter are all sewn together. You zip it up. It's, it's amazing. Um, I tell everyone, like, in my real life, I tell all of you guys, like anyone who has kids, Bettys. I kind of want them for my bed now, but I haven't. We haven't done that. They're expensive, but they they have been worth their weight in gold. We love them so much, but you have to wash them in pieces. I try not to overcrowd the washer. Like I treat these things like little babies that I don't want to mess up. So I wash them on delicate. I wash them in very small loads. So I've got his bottom ones washing now. Then I've got to do the top and then I'll do his weighted blanket. So to wash his bedding. Wait, why did you do that? <laughs> he just went over to Mark's cars and dumped them all out. I have no idea why. Um, what was I saying? So to do all of his bedding is a three wash step. So it's, it's a time commitment, but that's okay. He'll have nice, fresh, clean bedding. Tomorrow I'm going to do marks. I have to start marks earlier in the day, so it'll be clean by nap time. And I missed that window today because I was washing clothes. So I'm just going to, every hour or so, change everything over. It's really easy to put back on the bed. So it's just a matter of switching it over to the washer, uh, from the washer to the dryer and all of that. So I've got that going on right now. So in between, I'm just going to read... Um, my book I'm really trying to finish and I just every time I start it I'm like oh I remember something else I need to do so um, anyway but I'm not going to start getting ready until David gets home and we'll just get ready together <laughs> or it will take him like five minutes to get ready and I'll get ready and then we'll go so just a little bit of quiet chill time um, before the chaos of this evening so Lucy is having so much fun talking, FaceTiming her cousin today. They've been playing together on FaceTime. It's the sweetest thing. Lucy has not even eaten lunch yet. It's one o'clock. So I told her, just let me know when you're hungry. So I'm sure, I'm about 100% sure she's going to want a grilled cheese. So I'll probably do that for her here soon. So anyway, I'll see you all back in a little bit. Okay, so Lucy is ready for lunch. So this is my last lunch. I don't know why we did it in shifts today. Just how it worked out. Grilled cheese, of course, made in our sandwich maker. She's been eating these like every single day. They are really good. They make like a perfect little pocket. And she's got a little fruit salad here with a cantaloupe and strawberries and blueberries, some cool ranch chips. And I made her another like Starbucks refresher like we made yesterday with the freeze dried strawberries in there. So it's her little lunch. All right, you guys, I'm just about done with laundry. Mark did fall asleep, so I'm letting him sleep for a little bit longer. It's getting close to four, so I'm having like a late lunch. Uh, I'm still doing intermittent fasting, just trying to make healthier decisions when I do decide to break my fast and eat. So this is a protein smoothie that has a tablespoon of peanut butter in it and a banana. It's really good along with uh, protein powder and some milk. I wish I had some spinach to put in there, but I don't have any. So um, I need to make the kids early dinner. That way they're not having to eat so late. So I'm going to start that here in a minute. I'm not sure what. Um, I'm going to start me and David's ravioli here soon too. So I'll show you guys that literally. I'm just putting sauce and right, I told y'all ravioli in the crock pot and I'm turning it on. Um, and then it should only take a few hours and it'll be because the ravioli just basically has to like defrost and warm through. So anyway, that's kind of what we have going on. David should be home soon. I'll show you guys the Walgreens haul and then uh, we need to get ready to go. So we need to leave here about 515. I'm going to sit and enjoy this real quick and then get start getting everybody ready. All right, you guys, so all I'm going to do, this is like my medium sized crock pot. I love this size when I'm just doing something for David and I or something not so huge to get my other one out. I'm gonna plug this in and I'm going to layer 
a little bit of sauce, a little bit of ravioli, and just layer it all the way up. This is the vodka sauce. I was going to do Alfredo mixed with um, marinara, but then I saw this in the fridge and, or in the pantry, and I thought this will be even easier. I won't even have to open two jars. I just layer it all the way up. You can top the very top with cheese if you want. I probably won't just so we can top it when we serve it up. We'll top it with some Parmesan or something. This is such an easy meal. Also, a lot of times I'll take these ravioli, put them in a baking dish the same way, like layer them, like just a layer of sauce, a layer of ravioli all the way up. Um, and then you bake it and it's like a lazy lasagna. So this is such an easy and quick meal. And I'm going to get that layered up in the crock pot. All right, you guys, that took like literally two minutes to throw in there. I'm just going to cover it with a lid, put it on low. It's like I said, almost four now. So this will go for probably three or four hours. Um, I think it should be enough to cook it through. If not, I can always switch it to high. Uh, but these overcook really fast, I have found. So give yourself, you know, time to adjust the temperature. But this is such an easy meal. And um, I'm going to like throw some frozen veggies in the microwave to steam or something to go with this. But super duper easy and it's really delish. So for this whole recipe, I think, um, which is four servings. Let's see. I paid about $7. So you can't beat that really. I mean, that's amazing. All right. Don't mind the background noise if you can hear that, but we made some breakfast for dinner for the kids real fast. They had cinnamon rolls yesterday for breakfast for dinner, and they're having French toast sticks today breakfast for dinner. So Nate has a bunch of cut up French toast sticks with some Greek yogurt and some strawberries. He's also got a milk. Lucy has some, this is just regular vanilla yogurt um, topped with fruit. She's got some banana, and she'll probably want some powdered sugar on these. She likes that as opposed to syrup. The boys don't like either on theirs, so I'll give her some milk. And then Mark is not too excited about this, but he has some yogurt, some French toast sticks, Fruit Loops, a few cheese crackers, and a um, instant breakfast or breakfast essential protein drink. So we're going to eat real quick. I've got to hurry and get ready, but the I Walgreens. Milk. Yeah, you want to eat it? The Walgreens order is here, so let me show you guys real quick. Here's my Walgreens order. They actually also gave me a paper receipt, which I don't think has ever happened with a pickup order for me. Yeah. But I'll be able to tell you guys the prices if I can read this receipt correctly. So the Dove were $7 each, but there was a $7 off coupon. So basically it made one of them free. So I got David the Hydrating Clean Comfort and the Blue Eucalyptus Birch. Whoa. Awesome. Then the Tide was 5 I think it was five fifty, and there was like a fifty cent off coupon. Not the most amazing deal, but still pretty good. These were three dollars each. You got three dollars rewards back, and there was a three dollar off coupon. Basically, these were like nothing. So I really like these um, clean mint mouthwash. They don't have any alcohol, and they're pretty nice. This was six dollars and ninety nine cents. But there was a $4 off coupon, which made them $2.99. So yay for that. I really like the blue pack better than these pink ones, but they were out of those. So I just got these, which is fine. And then the sparkle was $6.99. And I think there was a dollar off coupon. Plus, if you bought $35 worth of stuff, then you got $15 in extra care bucks back or not extra care, that's CVS, Walgreens, cash back. So all of this totaled, doesn't really show it well on the receipt. It totaled like 30, no, it totaled $40. And then all the coupons came off. And so I got all of this with tax for $27. And I got 33 Walgreens cash back. So that is such a good deal. The Walgreens cash has already been added to my account. Um, they're having stuff all week, so check your Walgreens. Um, but yeah, this is what I got. I only have a second, but I wanted to say hey as I'm looking a little more presentable. <sighs> I hate pictures, but hopefully my hair cooperates so we can get the picture done, and then we're gonna get the um 
bundles made, but David's wearing a blue shirt with a gray jacket. I'm wearing this blue dress with a flower print got on um, hoops and because no one's gonna see my shoes, I'm wearing my, my very comfortable sandals. So everybody is loaded up. They all ate pretty quickly and we are headed out. home um i'm about to take off my makeup because it's driving me crazy it is like 9 30 so we worked at the church making all of those little pouches of popsicles it's crazy and they kept like puncturing and sticky stuff would go everywhere and anyway um, we're not freezing them we're passing them out like that so that they can get them off their doorstep without being all melty and they can freeze them um, we have enough to do like 300 houses around our church advertising so it went really fast. We had um, several people helping us and um, we got our pictures done first. That only took like literally two seconds. And then um, we stayed there. We started working about 5.30ish and we were there till almost eight. So it took a while, but they look really good. Um, and then we had to drive over to our campus to drop them all back off. Actually, we couldn't even fit all of them in our car. We had to put some of them at the main campus, and Dave was going to get them in the morning and move them over to our campus. So we just had to drive all the way over there. By the time we got home, it was like 8.30, and um, we ate dinner real quick. So here is my plate. The ravioli turned out perfect. Put a little Parmesan cheese on there, and then I just steamed so a bag of peas. I love, like, sweet peas. are so good. A little bit of butter and salt. It was delicious. And then... I'm going to have this little built bar for dessert. This is a built puff. Actually, this actually isn't. This is the bonus that came in the puffs. This is an actual built bar, no puff. <laughs> I like the puffs better, but I just pulled this one out. So I will have that for like a little dessert. I get those at Sam's and they are so good. And like a very um, sweet treat, but also has a lot of protein. So it makes you feel good too. So anyway, um, that is it for today. Got the kids to bed after that. And David's working on, we're trying to get a head count of how many people are going to be able to help us pass all these out on Thursday. We need like several different teams going different streets. Um, some of us, I will probably, I will probably be driving with like the boys in my car. We need some people driving to like follow behind the people walking so we have a bunch of people coming from the main campus to help us and from the other um, campus to help us. So it's really exciting. And then Saturday we'll be having our fun summer snow cone extravaganza. That's not really what we're calling it. That's just what I just said. <laughs> so it'll be really fun. Let me know in the comment section down below, what is your favorite flavor of snow cone? That is question of the day. Favorite flavor of snow cone? Mine, usually, if I had to pick my very favorite, would be peaches and cream. Love it. If it wasn't that, it would be something like really tropical, like almost tastes like sunscreen, like a pina colada or um, some sort of mixture that's very tropical. But I love snow cones. They're so good. So anyway, that is it for today, y'all. That's all that, that there is going to be. I'm going to take my makeup off. It actually has stayed on really well considering how much I was sweating doing all those um, pouches, tying all those ribbons. I don't know. It's got really sweaty, but it's actually stayed on pretty good. Tomorrow, we're waking up bright and early and going to the movies. Tomorrow is the last summer movie. Oh, sorry. I didn't check it. 
Tomorrow is the last summer movie um, that you can go for like $3. And I've been wanting to take the kids and like every Wednesday there's something going on. So I went ahead and bought our tickets. So we are going. Um, I just figured it's worth the booking fee to not have to like get there super early with them and all of that. So we're going tomorrow. It's the movie, The Bad Guys. And it's like, I watched the trailer. It looks really cute of like the big bad wolf, like how he was good and turned bad or something. I don't know. It looks really cute. So we're going to go see that. The kids are really excited. I don't have huge expectations. They did really well last year. We went to several summer movies and they did really well, but we'll see, you know, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, that is it for today. I love you guys so much. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all tomorrow.